need I say anything else? 59 degrees. Hey, let's, let's get over here to me. We got enough for sure. <laughs> Let me tell you, if y'all ain't had breakfast yet this morning, we got pizza enough to feed half a bag. Absolutely. From Joe's Famous Pizza right down the road. You ain't open yet, but you are right here this morning, right? We're open for you anytime. The man who got everything. Bill Matthews is his number one customer. I was there last the Friday night. It was unbelievable. How did it go last Friday night with the after you stayed open until midnight. It was great. Bill was actually swinging some pizzas with me, helping me out. Yeah. yeah he looks like he can handle some pizzas. Back there. What's the deal on Friday nights after the ball games? All you can eat buffet, ten dollars. Pizza, pasta, salad, dessert. All oh, right. Is that good on Sundays too? <laughs> Sundays from eleven to two. All you can eat. Come on down there after. What do we got today out here? We got some breakfast pizzas. We got sausage, bacon, eggs. We got your favorite chorizo, tomatoes, and then we got a veggie. So you basically, you can cook anything and cater for anybody. Any kind of event, any kind of food. I have a kitchen, I have hands. You can do everything. Anything, I can do everything. This is the main man for your church, your football team. I think you're doing something with that, with Coach Creasy. Yep, we're doing uh, pre-main meals for the uh, right. team this week for the uh, beat up on James Clemens. And here comes another star of the show that looks like he could eat four of these pizzas right now. <laughs> show us that Come on, just keep on going. Yeah, Look at that guy. baby face. As he looks around, he's going to eat right here. The show yeah. starts at six. Get you something to eat. We got plenty. All right, let's get this party started. Let's go over and check on the main set this morning. Danny, I'm getting ready to leave y'all for a month. Can't talk about it. He'll have to kill us. Sorry, I'm sorry about that, but yes, I have, I have a job. But you'll be at church Sunday. I will be there Sunday. All right, yes. shut up his back in the house. We're going to yes. talk about how bad LSU will lose every game this year. <laughs> Clint, we saved that seat. You're in the honorable Swami seat this morning. In the Swami seat. All right, we got a set, too. We're giving away a pickup truck today. <laughs> yes. Kevin says the $10,000 this morning, we're going to give that truck away. Y'all can start calling my phone right now, 230. It's probably value, I don't know, 15000 Did you take that for it this morning? Mm. Let's make it 20000 where I can make a profit. Yeah. Joseph's in the house, too. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. Got plenty of stuff to talk about. A lot, some of it not too good, but we will play Judge Jamie in a moment. Also, thank you, Joe, for feeding us on Thursday. Anytime, brother. The most famous pizza man ever. He's in the Guinness Book of Records, and he's from New York City. New York City. That's right. Here's the weather with Gloria. <laughs> That was funny, wasn't it? All right, 69 degrees. What a beautiful day it's going to be. I could just say ditto, 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 and I will. Temperatures are just going to stay in the 80s. Just absolutely wonderful and breezy and nice and no rain to worry about really until Sunday. That jumps up to 60% chance of showers on Sunday. So definitely keep an umbrella on your way to church on Sunday. Look at the rest of the forecast. Not looking bad at all. You guys are loving these temperatures. I know the coach is have to be. Nice change for August, huh, guys? Yeah, everybody's listening. Are you going to feed a, <laughs> no, going to feed a kid? Yes, it gonna, is. We're going to I'm not a coach. I am multitasking. All so right. if you believe Alabama's overrated, raise your hand. No, oh, look at that. That's, that's three of them right here. Oh, woo we we ruined Dang. this place, baby. Oh, we ruined. Tiniest loser. There ain't no way. LSU. We all might beat all. We're gonna win the SEC, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. Man, oh, my word. You heard it here first. Hold it. I've got to do something here. I've got to do a correction on something. Not a correction, but something I promised the guy that I'm gonna do from now on out. Buddy of yours, Grayson Bailey. Grayson is taking over our yard again. Or Eagle Grayson. Starts. Oh, come on, boy. <laughs> and the only reason he agreed to do it was if I said War Eagle one or two times a year on this show. And I told him I had you up here every Thursday to take, he said, well, good. But Grayson Bailey, the world's it, greatest Jamie. landscaper in this part of the country. Let's hear it, Jamie. Don't I just said it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first let me talk about, you know, what happened yesterday in television oh, is absolutely the, one of the biggest, the biggest tragedy that could probably happen on live television. Uh, there are no words to describe. Somebody. It's a hate crime. It, uh, it should be. It is a hate crime. Yeah, but I mean, the guy killed himself, so what, what's the difference, matter. you know? Uh, just un he unbelievable. He said and he was upset wait, about what Daddy. happened. Some he applied shoots. for a job at Channel 48, and they wouldn't hire him because of his past record. Said he got in a fight at Christmas that came out when they reviewed him. I didn't know that. At a Christmas he party, he got in a fight. The guy was just a, they called it reverse racism. And he was gay. 
Yep. So the thing about it, I mean, the little girl, I guess that was him a long time ago, but uh, <laughs> he's gay. The he's guy that got killed, <laughs> that was his, his fiance. The 27 year old guy from yeah. Cameron got killed. His fiance was her last day on the job. She was sitting in the control room watching that flowers and cakes, Danny, to her to be go And then her wedding dress arrived that afternoon. Man. And she watched that whole thing unfold live. You don't think that that guy right there on the left, don't you think that guy had that planned yeah, out? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. No wonder he was smiling. I said he always smiled that day for sure. Oh, That's man. Tough. That's, That's just horrible. Tough. Tragic. And also, yesterday here at the library, they dedicated, a legislative group dedicates library bench to Mayor Dan. That was done yesterday. Uh, Senator Melson, all those, Bill Holtzcall, all of them were over here yesterday. Author O, our good friend from Decatur, and they dedicated that bench to our friend Dan Williams, who passed away uh, almost two months ago, yeah. actually. Mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. Tragedy, tragedy. All right, Zach, what you got? Hey, uh, that, that's good right there on Mayor Dan. I'm, I'm yeah. glad they did that for him. Uh, got a couple yard sales. No! For <laughs> yard sales. One, uh, let me mention the one at the, the VFW. Is that his picture on yard sale? The VFW has got a 127. <laughs> Uh, that's going on Saturday, yeah, he lost but the big one, Friday and Saturday, 21249 Nelson Lane, cross from where they had the tractor pull, come on out. Like you got it at your week. house again. Jack, you don't own that much junk. Well, they, they, we just put everything from the last one back in my garage. I think they'd go around so, the neighborhoods uh, and start collecting so stuff. So y'all come on out Friday, Saturday. You pay what else you got? That? Hey, we got, uh, some, hey, we got some high school football tonight. Really? We have... The East Limestone Indians going to Salem to play the West Limestone Wildcats. All right. So I'll be there. Has that time I've got a quarterback right. yet? Hey, Clint, hey, interesting you mention that. Now the newest guy in the race, the wild card is Cooper Bateman. Where did he come from? Where is it? I heard Brick Pugh may transfer to quarterback. Huh? But, but uh, David Cornwell is probably the surprise. He has fallen off the face of this earth. I don't know what he did to Coach Saban and Coach Given, but he's apparently at the bottom of the list now. All right, let me show uh, Alabama's this, falling Here's off. a picture of Decatur Day this one. Let me give a shout out to uh, Jason Godby here. This guy is fixing a dome over on the uh, the, 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 the depot they're redoing over in Decatur. Look, that, that's a pretty good, clever photograph. That's a big hat right there. Uh -huh. That's a big hat. It's a 10 gallon hat, baby. Look how light that thing is. All right. I want to take time out right now and do a special Dear Jamie this oh, morning. So, uh, Jason, pay attention as we give that truck away. <laughs> I, got, I got a problem calling different names. Who's that? Hey. It's, 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 I show a picture of my fifth grade teacher. They're passing around. All right. I'm you know what? I, I got to do this, situation. dear Jamie, because some of y'all may be in the same situation. Okay. It's dear Abby this morning, so let me share it with you. What'd you put your phone up for? <laughs> it says here, my wife and I have been married a few years, about 17. Got a good marriage until recently. Bill Matthews, attorney. Woo. Over the past three or four years, she's become more and more consumed with her phone and tablet. Oh, look at this. Yeah. yeah. She goes nowhere and does nothing without it. Every night and weekend, she sits engrossed in both devices until I have gone to bed. Uh, this story we're ringing a bell with you? Well, if you go to bed at 6 o'clock... If I've asked what she's doing, who she's texting, she accuses me of being in control and not trusting her. Sounds... Signed, Carissa. Oh, <laughs> we, can't, we can't watch a movie, eat a meal, out or at home, or anything else with her constantly tending to at least one of her many devices. She says she can multitask, and I shouldn't be right, concerned. Did that this morning. If that ain't enough, I've seen her communicate with other men. Donnie, hmm. quit texting. Lady I'm sorry. <laughs> Subpoena those records. When I ask her, she throws the same label. What should I do? Subpoena those records. Get, buy more device. Go, buy a different type huh? of device. Buy what? a different type of device. Do like I did my microphone last Friday. <laughs> Flush it down it. the toilet. <laughs> or go hire an attorney. Huh? Or go hire a good attorney. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do not Those let her store. accuse you of being controlling or trust. You, me, I ain't done nothing wrong. I know I have it. What have you done? Yeah, okay. The accusers, we'll are, accusers, right. we'll the accusers are usually guilty. What is that? Yeah. We'll play the Judge the Jamie. The just a second. Y'all, hang on. Okay. What is that?